Welcome to the unit St. John's Golf and Conference Center. My name is David Powell, the golf course and ground superintendent, and this is one of my employees right here. My name is Jake Doby, and I work for Dave on the grounds crew. A little history about the place. We're a 27-hole golf course with a hotel, conference center, and a retreat center. It used to be in the day. It was a seminary. We do a lot of corporate events, parties, and our main things that we do here are weddings. Probably four to five months out of the year, we gotta do snow maintenance. We were pretty busy out here running from like two o'clock in the afternoon on Friday, all the way to about two o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, going nonstop, pushing the snow and moving it around the golf course. And as many times as I had to go around this the hotel property with a 31 inch shovel pushing snow, I was thinking to myself, man, I really wish I had a shovel that pushed itself. Thanks for coming out and uh, taking a look at our new uh, improved snowball. We've made a few changes on it uh, from our prior model. We see the snowball as an alternative to a snowblower for certain applications. In many situations, the snow is more wet and or compact. This type of snow has a tendency to clog up a traditional snowblower's auger and chute. The snowball is not intended to clear large areas that might be best for a truck mounted plow. Instead, the snowball is ideal for clearing sidewalks, pathways, driveways, ramps, bridges, and other areas that are too narrow to clear with large snow removal equipment. Down here, make sure the black safety fuel shutoff valve is in the open position. Close the gray choke lever, pull the recoil starter, open the choke lever smoothly, and then adjust the engine's throttle lever located on the right handlebar. To start the engine, simply turn the red knob to run for starting the engine or depress the knob to turn off the snowball. When starting a cold engine, we recommend moving the throttle lever to the midpoint before the starting sequence. Before operating and for your safety, you will need to engage the belt tensioner that is labeled as main clutch from the start position to the work position. Next I'd like to point out is uh, we have two levers here. Uh, these control the height of the blade and it also locks the blade to whatever height you'd like to have it at. For skimming gravel surfaces, lock the blade slightly above the ground level or if desired, simply keep the blade unlocked for uneven terrain which will allow the blade to freely flow. The Snowbull's transmission is equipped with two forward speeds and one reverse speed. In most cases, you will use second gear. However, in certain conditions, first gear might be more optimal. To adjust the handlebars, there's a handlebar adjustment lever located on the right side of the handlebar. Turn the lever a few times to loosen the clamp, move the handlebars to the desired position, and then retighten the clamp. The handlebars can then be repositioned forward for storage or for transport. To get the snowball to move forward or to reverse, simply press the lever on the left handlebar. To stop the snowball, simply release the lever. To plow snow to either side, the snowball is equipped with a plow angle adjustment lever. I can change the angle of my blade from 30 degrees to 15 to zero. And that can be done on either side. Should it be necessary if you're doing a, a long stretch and you want to take off one of the sides, dependent, you can just undo these finger nuts and can, we can simply remove the side shields. Snowball did a remarkable job through this thick, wet, heavy snow in the areas that we didn't get a chance to, to plow or shovel this weekend. It could climb stairs, it climbed ramps, it moved some heavy snow. I think that it has a lot of practical applications for a, for a big place like this. It's a very good piece of equipment for the public to use and or commercial or residential. So I would talk to your Oric American dealer as soon as you can and try to purchase one and get a demo on it.